Are you a content creator looking for effects to improve your videos in 2021? Welcome to Production Crate. Production Crate is the resource for graphics, visual effects, music, and much more. On top of that, these assets are compatible with your editing software. Get your unlimited free effects today or premium effects for only $49 a year. Make it awesome. What is going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to the channel. Now in this video, we're going to do something really different than usually editing and, you know, improving your videos and how to grow on YouTube. In this video, we're going to look at the best video editing apps for on your smartphone and tablet that you guys can use in order to edit your videos on the go, no matter where you are. If you need to post something right away, for example, and you're outdoors, you don't have access to your computer. You just need to edit something real quick and upload it through your phone. But the first five are going to be totally free. I'm not going to show you guys exactly how they all work, like in detail how to cut, because if I'm going to cover 10 apps, this video would be like an hour and a half long. So if you guys want to have also separate videos about these apps, how to edit your videos on your smartphone and tablet, make sure to smash the like button down below. Let me know down in the comments as well if you want to see them and also subscribe if you're here for the very first time watching. Oh, and by the way, guys, don't worry. These apps are compatible with both iOS and Android and the apps that are not compatible with iOS iOS or not compatible with Android. I'll also leave it in the description down below that you can see. Let's say that you have an Android phone and you're, this app is, for example, only for iPhone. I will also let you know. But uh, guys, with that all the way, let's go ahead and get into the best apps for video editing right after the intro. All right, guys. So right now, the first app we are going to talk about right now is called Quick. Now, this one is available for both iPhone and Android. It is free to download. So right here, I have my phone with me. So when we open up the app for the very first time, it says new year, new Quick coming early 2021. So I think they're working on an update at this point when the video is being recorded. So right here, it says get ready or got it. So right now, if you don't know how to use this one and how to familiar with the features and all that, you can click on get ready and that will bring you to this community page where you have all kinds of questions and answers but right now we're going to go back for a second to the app where it says of course it's in dutch right now it says welcome to quick make beautiful movies in just a few seconds and then at the bottom it says proceed right here it says create with your photos and videos and then quick needs access to your photos so you can create awesome videos so right here i'm going to also at the bottom you know uh, grant access to my camera roll so then right here we see weekly you know video reminders i'm just going to click on no thank you all right guys so as you can see right now i added five photos so this is really nice how you can use it and actually you know discover it but i'm, I'm not going to go in detail on the complete app it's going to be taking away way too long but this is how we import photos get started with the app and how you can just choose different kinds of styles and just how you can edit like text at the bottom, add the music. You can edit the text right here with this pencil icon. We have the settings, the format, the length, the music beginning, the filter and all that. It's really, really nice how you can create videos with this app completely for free on your phone with whether you're using Android or Apple. All right, so the second app we're gonna talk about is Kinemaster. It's also available for both iPhone and Android. So right here, if you open up the app for the very first time, you have to hold your phone like this. Sideways. So right here it says, welcome to Kinemaster, create, edit, share videos on the go. So I'm gonna swipe right where it says the easy, powerful video editor, multiple layers, chroma key, speed control, reverse, and much more. Used over 2000 plus ad sets in any way you want. Stickers, music, effects, and more are added every single week, which is really, really nice. And the last side, it says, subscribe to Kinemaster's YouTube channel. Of course, that's obvious. But right here, it says top premium music of 2020. We have like 10 songs. You can also download them. I'm going to close this out for just a second. So right here, this is actually a app where you need to pay for. But if you close this out at the left, you can still use it probably with like a watermark. And they ask you if you if they want to send you like push notifications. So right here, if you're going to use this app on the free version, of course, you're going to have probably like a watermark or somewhere. But it was pretty, pretty affordable. I think it's around four to five euros. But you can check it on the website yourself. So it's really nice where you have like this plus icon in the middle where you can also grant access to your photos. And then, of course, you can also choose your resolution, whether that's like a regular YouTube video, 16 by 9, 9 by 16, like, for example, Instagram TV. It also shows the icon or, for example, an Instagram story. You also have one-on-one, -on -one, which is an Instagram video. You have 4 by 3, 3 by 4, 
four, four by five, and even two, 35, one, which is like a widescreen. So if you're gonna pick 16 by nine. So right here, it's really, really nice that we have our timeline. Okay, so as you can see right here, this is a small clip from actually a while back from the trailer for uh, the album. So right here, if I play this back, as you can see, we also have a time limit as this one was actually pretty, pretty much a lot longer and it didn't start off in this you know settings so right here it says like trim and split so let's say they want to cut out a part cut for example and place your red marker on this here then you can just go and click on trim to left of playhead just like that and how you can also just stretch it with your finger it's really really nice how you can use kinemaster and actually export it yourself we have audio we have layer we can even record we have text we have effects we have stickers handwriting so if you click on text you can type in anything you want let's say i'm going to type in my name for example like this and of course you can also position it make it bigger on the screen somewhere it's really really nice how you can edit your videos on the go so right here i'm just going to leave it with kinemaster and it's actually pretty pretty nice but of course i'm just showing you guys like five percent of each app but just for keeping this video relatively short so the next app we're going to talk about is of course a pretty known one it's also working for computers with uh, mainly of course apple which is imovie so i opened up the app for the first time right here it says projects so right here it says create projects so i'm going to also see what this little dot do at the bottom because right here it says import project but i'm wondering if i could set the language to english just to make it a little bit easier for you guys to read so right here it says create project i'm going to tap on there and right here you can choose what do you like to make a film or a trailer right here i'm going to hit film right here we have our timeline which is very nice so if i play this back it's just going to cut to every single photo but well, these are just images guys don't worry that it's like for example not playing in a proper way these are photos these are not videos right here we have transitions so this is a nice cross face so if you tap on there we can actually adjust our transition so if i play this back we have a nice slide if i tap on a transition we can use for example this one and then you can just rewind it play it back and you can use all kinds of transition from different sides and all that is really really handy so if i play one more as you can see it goes from uh, dark to regular so it's a really really cool app where you can just use your photos and how they actually include like this slide effect so then if you're ready you can just go and you know go and edit it if you want to and then right here it's actually a plus icon where you can add in you know backgrounds audio a voiceover files videos photos so it's a really really nice app to also use as for example besides your computer on your phone and i think this is not available on android phones since of course it's imovie it's developed by apple all right guys so i double checked real quick and of course imovie is not downloadable for android phones which is of course obvious so right here this is basically the app it's really really nice you can also shorten these clips as you can see right here if i wipe my finger over it you can delete them at the bottom you can duplicate them you can for example revert changes on the top right icon we have like all kinds of really Really, really cool filters as well right here for example a black and white one it's really really nice how you can also grade in like a similar way into vegas with adding like different kind of contrast films different kind of contrast and you can also choose the intensity and it's a really really nice app to use on your phone okay so the next app which i of course could not include which is filmora go now filmora has been a video editor that i've also talked about in the past on the channel itself and they also have an app called filmora go so right here if i open it up for the very first time it says filmora go pro it's a 549 a month 32.99 a year or just 54.99 forever just a one-time payment and I'm just going to click on try for free for three days, which is of course asking me to start my subscription. I'm not going to do that. I don't really edit videos on my phone, to be honest. But right here at the bottom, it says more than 91.8% of users choose this plan. And what the really cool thing is, guys, you're not getting charged if you click on try for free. If I double click on the side button on my phone, it's going to start it, but I'm not paying anything because after these three days, then it will actually start. So right here, as you can see at the bottom, it says starting at 20 of February. So that's three Three days from now it will be 32 euros per year which is not a lot because like i showed you guys more than 90 percent of the people always just choose for this plan so of course i don't really think i can get further than for example the screen where you need to purchase it but of course you guys always know how the how amazing these apps work so if i'm gonna go and close this out for just a second see if i can proceed right here i'm actually right now in the app and right here it says create new project and then we can click 
template, for example, if you want to start from something that is already existing like this one, and then you can just select it and then you can choose, for example, this wonderful moment one. You can download it real quick, you can select it, and then you can also grant access to your photos. Okay, so as you can see right now, it's loading. We, of course, have the same timeline right here. Of course, at the bottom, we have the Wondershare Filmora Go watermark. That's obvious if you don't have a paid version. So right here, you can always choose to do, do different things such as cuttings. If I move the timeline, for example, until right here, I can just click on cut right there at the bottom and then it says split. And then if I move a little bit further, if I hit split again, and then we can of course remove this little segment that we have cut it. If we click on delete at the bottom, as you can see, and now we have a nice cut in between. We also have a nice transition, so we can have, for example, a simple roll. We have a fisheye roll, basic, motion, zoom. It's a really, really quick one, as you notice, but this is actually the basic app and the free version of Filmora Go, and it's a really nice app you can also try out if you don't like the other ones or if you always been using Filmora on your computer and you wanna go to the app, that's a really nice one as well to try out, as we, of course, have the different effects such as the volume, you can have the opacity, we can have fades, we have the speed, of course, everything is Dutch. I'm trying to explain it as good as I can. We have sticker, filter, text, we have effects, we have all kinds of you know color grading filters as well. We have shaky stuff, like it's almost handheld, or for example, like this is you know, like a really nice floating filter on top of it. We have all kinds of really nice effects that we can apply onto our videos straight in the app itself. All right, guys, so the last app we're gonna talk about is of course Filmmaker Pro, because right here. I have the app open in just a second. It is asking me to also put it sideways. So right here, it says project. It says pro. If you click on there, it's actually a really, really nice subscription if you want to get it. But of course, it's a free one. So if I click on this X icon at the top right, it says tutorial, contact us, rate in the app store, clear the cache. And I'm going to just tap on that icon again. And then we can also click at the top left where it says start here. And then I'm going to just create a new project. And then of course we can also choose the resolution like a landscape 16 by nine, which is a YouTube video, a portrait, which is basically this resolution, which is nine by 16, like an Instagram story or just a vertical one. We have a square video and then we have like Instagram as well. So I'm just going to pick a landscape. It says screen recording blocked. So I think that's the reason that you cannot edit something in the app and then record your screen with your screen recording tool inside of your phone to kind of bypass for example, not buying it or not getting a subscription or getting no watermark. So that's why it's blocked. So right here, I'm just going to show a couple photos of what the menu looks like. So I'm going to quickly stop the recording. And right here, it says like back to projects, save and share. We have settings, start here, picture in picture, music, voiceovers. So now we can also just import our files right here at the top where it says start here. So then I'm going to also grant access and I'm going to quickly add in a video. All right, guys. So as you can see, this is the timeline that we can also edit and we have all kinds of icons on the on the right the sound symbol for music we have this pen tool to draw on it we have the t from text on the top right on the left you can play it back you have the share icon so you can also just go and trim it sucks that i have to use photos but right here it doesn't show any watermarks on the actual preview so that's why the screen recording is blocked so this is a nice app that you can try it out just download it for free it's available on iphone and android and that's a way you can just also edit your videos in this way it's really really nice there's also an export button and you can also render up to 1080p 60 fps in this app So I'm going to just hit this check mark and then it's actually exporting as you notice right here If I show you guys a photo of the exporting and then you can just save it to your photos It's really really cool And then if you have it in your photos itself, let's go ahead and see what it looks like Okay guys, so as you notice this is the exported version and now I get why they actually blocked it Of course, like I said the watermark is in right here after the export but if you play it back while editing in the app, there is no watermark. So you would be able to record your screen while you're editing to bypass this red watermark at the bottom right corner. So if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to check out a little bit more about the apps, make sure to check out the link in the description. I will leave all the apps to the links there to, to the website itself. Or after this video, you can just go to your phone, go to the app store or the play store, and you can just type in the names of the apps we discussed, see which one you like best. And if you don't want to have any watermarks and if you need to edit videos on the go, just go ahead ahead and download and also buy these apps to support the developers to make the best videos on your phone. So, so those are basically five free apps for your phone for video editing. All right, guys. So that's it for this video. These are the five free best apps for your phone that you can use to edit your videos on the
the go. If you want to invest a little bit more of a better app, that is, for example, a little bit more stable and also without a watermark, you can just pick up the app for between, I would say, 10 to $30. And it's actually also on like a lifetime that you just pay once or you can just come back year after year. And then it's just actually pretty, pretty affordable. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash the like button down below. Subscribe if you're here for the very first time watching. So that's all I have for you guys today. All the links to all these apps that I covered today are in the description down below. And I'll see you guys, obviously, in the next one.